Hi, and welcome to this episode of Patrice's Palette. Today I've got uh, three types of gourmet candy gum uh, with really weird, unusual, sugar-free flavors that I wanted to try, along with weirdo, in my opinion, uh, Pop-Tart flavors. I know this one was a special for the month of like June, and I don't know if it's an annual thing or not. I don't usually have Pop-Tarts, but I was in the aisle and said, oh, they've got root beer and orange crush flavored uh, pop tarts now so I wanted to try the pop tarts the one box of orange crush just it was well it was actually it was crushed up <laughs> so I didn't look worth buying and then um this limited edition box limited edition box of pink lemonade frosted pink lemonade pop tarts uh, I don't know if drinks should be turned into pop tart flavors but we are going to sample them and see what we think so this by Project 7, I've never heard of that before. And I don't even know where these were. My sister was really sweet and said, hey, I think I found a slightly weird candy for you to try. Do you wanna uh, give it a try for your channel? Certainly, she got me three flavors. Kettle Pop and Birthday Cake and um, Sour Caramel Apple. So we will try these out. We'll start with the Sour Caramel Apple. So, it's just a, it's, it smells like a Yankee candle. Weird. Cut. So oh, that was not bad. Every bite was a burst of caramel, it was a burst of sour, crisp like a granny apple. Um, sugary sweet flavor now that's the one thing i'll say it did not taste like a sugar-free gum usually does so they did a good job on that um tastes exactly like it says it would interesting i think it's most interesting that it was different with every single bite then we're trying um birthday cake now yeah and these are the same so they're just it'd be a good prank gum maybe not an evil flavor but oh well <laughs> Ugh. Birthday cake mix, like a dry mix. Yes, I've tried that. You have to. <laughs> um, ugh. Ugh. The flavors are on point. Exactly what they said they'll be, but very flavor very <laughs> my tongue won't work very flavorful gum uh weird and then we'll try this third one kettle pop i hate that popcorn always gets stuck in my teeth so i don't really care for popcorn all that much but Oh, ah, ah. I need water. It tastes exactly like I just chewed a stick of butter. There was no popcorn-y flavor with it. Ugh. Mm. And then I just opened this. It's a fun idea, but the rest of these Pop-Tarts are going to go to waste. I don't know who's going to want to eat them. I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, so, I've said the name already. Pink Lemonade. Frosted Pink Lemonade. It's pretty. It smells just like every other Pop-Tart ever. I think that's a fair sized bite to try. That wasn't horrible, but that tasted almost exact flavor wise exactly how a lemon meringue pie would taste. And then A and W brand root beer pop tarts. Now I do not like uh, the root beer candies, root beer barrels, I think they're called. I'm okay with root beer. 
but I don't usually seek it out with my sodas. Um, and I'm afraid this is going to taste like a root beer barrel. Exactly, almost, since it's the only way to like make a candy out of root beer. This smells exactly like a root beer float. It's pretty. That didn't break the way I wanted it to. Oops. Here we go. So it kind of tastes like cardboard. Like a lot of Pop-Tarts do. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. It'll probably be in shot, won't it? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. That would be much appreciated. I do some vlog videos where I seek out unusual foods. I try and find local odd food, snacks, whatever for little um, episodes really like this. If you want to check me out on social media, it is at Patrice's Palette for both Twitter and um, Instagram. I'm on both of those. And if you have any comments, please leave one down below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.